Republican leaders urge colleagues to steer clear of racist and sexist attacks on Harris. My opinion. Yo, how bad are things the Republican Party that they actually have to say this out loud? Like, guys, guys, listen up. I know most of us have a lot of racist and sexist things to say, but I'm going to need y'all to chill until after the election. We got a fool. <clears throat> I mean, convince the American people we got their backs. Now, um, after we win, you guys can let the racism and sexism fly. But until then, I'm going to need y'all to chill. Now, I know this is going to be difficult for most of y'all, which is why I put together the first ever <laughs> racist open mic night. Sign up sheets over there. Bob, I know you signed up first. Bob clearly has a lot of racist things to say. So, Bob, you'll kick us off. And Mary Lou, you're going to be coming up next. So, everyone, give it up for Bob. Ridiculous. Now, I saw an article a couple weeks ago where they said, oh, the Republicans suddenly softened their stance on abortion. Yeah, right. Who do you think you're fooling? Like, remember the Senate, or excuse me, Supreme Court confirmation hearings? They were like, you guys aren't, aren't going to touch Roe v. Wade, right? What? Of course not. Roe v. Wade. Oh, that's Seth, baby. We all good on that. As soon as they got confirmed, Roe v. Wade... Good over here. Like the Republicans, they're they're like that that Chad or Raheem, and they think that the American people are like their naive girlfriend, like, baby, you know I love you. Well, what about all those other women I caught you with? They don't mean nothing. You the only one that matters to me. That's why I'm here, ain't I? That's what counts. Speaking of counting, you think you can loan me a couple hundred bucks? I'll pay you back. If you love me, you'll give me the hundred bucks. Okay, you can have it. <laughs> 